when people think of London, you always think of the bright lights, which is fine because the city can be amazing, but there's always those areas that aren't touched on enough. Growing up in Edmonton helped me a lot. I've been part of a tough upbringing, which has made me more grateful for what I've got now. I come from a big family. I'm one of eight children. My mom and dad sacrificed a lot for me to get to where I am, pushed me to go to university and do well. I just wanted to set a really good example for my like younger siblings as well. Just because we are from this background doesn't mean we're not capable of anything we want because your background doesn't define you. London is where small dreams start to sort of create themselves and then bigger ones start to explode when you come to places like university. London Met is a great example of an institution that provides the opportunity for people. Meeting my tutors was a big thing for me. I met amazing people who helped me in all sorts of ways. The experience they had in journalism, understanding that this was the step I wanted to take. I knew I needed to have the right people to help me in that way. I think the community was essentially the biggest part. I met so many who were the exact same as me. First in the family to go to uni and now they're all doing amazingly post-uni. Football's universal. There's a lifestyle, you live it, you breathe it. When you see a footballer win a personal accolade or something, I remember when I was younger, I was thinking I'd like to win a personal accolade at school. It gave me a really unorthodox like motivation to do well in my own way. You can almost compare sort of London Met and football to, to like an international tournament. Everyone comes from different corners of the globe to win the World Cup. Everyone comes from different corners of the globe to London Met to get a degree. You're all there for the same reason. It's a special place to me, London Met. I feel like it's become part of me, really. 